Now, after having discussed about the drugs which are being used in acute congestive heart failure, now let me discuss what are the major group of drugs which are used in patients with a chronic congestive heart failure. So, we have discussed this in the beginning also. What do we want in these patients with a chronic congestive heart failure? We want the afterload should be reduced. We want the preload should be reduced. Right? So, when you if you reduce the afterload on the heart or if you reduce the preload on the heart, thereby we can so by doing this we can decrease mortality in the patients with congestive heart failure right now now let me discuss what are the group of drugs which will reduce the preload and as well as what are the group of drugs which will reduce the afterload now the group of drugs which are used in patients with chronic congestive heart failure they include number one the AC inhibitors number two they include the angiotensin receptor blockers that is when you are using this AC inhibitors or when you are using this angiotensin receptor blockers what are you doing? You are nullifying or neutralizing the second compensatory mechanism that is renin angiotensin aldosterone system and thereby they will reduce the afterload of the individual. And we have one more drug that is aldosterone antagonist. Aldosterone antagonist, remember these are very very important drugs which will prevent the cardiac remodeling. Now, the, we have one more group of drugs which will reduce the myocardial contractility because what did we discuss in these individuals with the chronic congestive heart failure, the oxygen demand of the myocardium should not be increased. Which was that compensatory mechanism which was increasing the oxygen demand of the myocardium? It is activation of the sympathetic nervous system was increasing the oxygen demand in an individual with a congestive heart failure. So, if you want that the oxygen demand has to be reduced or if you want that the myocardial contractility has to be reduced, you have to give a beta blockers. Now, we have another group of drugs which will cause the arteriolar vasodilatation. Now, what is that another group of drugs which will cause arteriolar vasodilatation will be your hydralazine. Hydralazine will cause the arteriolar vasodilatation and thereby it will reduce the afterload on the individual. Now, we need to discuss which will reduce the preload on the heart. The drugs which will reduce the preload on the heart will be your venodilators and these venodilators include the nitrates. Nitrates the, are the preferential drugs which will dilate the veins. Once they dilate the veins, the venous blood will be undergoing stasis within the veins and thereby there will be preload reduction. So, what we are giving in a patient with a chronic congestive heart failure, we are trying to reduce the afterload with these group of drugs. We are trying to reduce the myocardial contractility with the beta blockers. We are reducing the preload with the help of nitrates. So next, let me discuss individually about these particular group of drugs.